What is up, Facebook? Uh, we are live business planning with Mike Wall for 2019. Um, what prompted this, um, this Facebook Live is uh, we had our Monday meeting yesterday with our team. Uh, I run a team with roughly 22, 23 agents and um, in the Dayton and Cincinnati real estate markets. And um, so what prompted this yesterday is I, I know that in, um, in real estate, that if you wait until January or the end of December to start planning, that you're going to be at least 30 to 45 days uh, behind the eight ball uh, because of the way our industry works. We all know that in our industry, when we have a closing, um, or excuse me, when we, when we put a home under contract that typically the turnaround time is 30 to 45 days, right? And so the reason why we business plan in October is so that we have that that roadmap for for 2019 it's already in play uh by the time the end of october rolls around into november and so um what i do with each one of my team members is um is i have them submit their income goal right and so what we do is we say okay um you have this income goal and you want to work uh, from that income goal, you want to work that number backwards, right? So you need to know the number uh, of buyers and sellers you're going to work with. You need to know the number of appointments you need to be on. You need to know, know the number of listings that you're going to be taking. And you need to know the number of appointments that you'll need to be on in order to, to, to hit those metrics. And so um, what I've done is I've created a uh, kind of a spreadsheet uh, based on the economic model from uh, that I acquired at my former brokerage. And we, so we put together this spreadsheet and uh, we've been using it ever since. And uh, I'd be happy to share a copy of this with you when, uh, when the live webinar is over. Um, do me a favor, if you can hear me, just, just send me a quick uh, yes, uh, so I know you're there or wave, and then we'll get started. Okay. So it looks like you guys can hear me, right? Perfect. All right, Ashley, thank you. Perfect. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen then with you guys. And um, I'll show you what we're working from here. Um, bear with me just a minute here. Okay. So now you can see my screen. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is I keep a Google Drive um, essentially with our entire business in it. So everything I've picked up over the last four to five years to grow a team that sells over 300 properties per year is in this drive, right? So if I go into our LOL team drive, you can see uh, the different categories in my business. Uh, and, and then there are subcategories in that and subcategories in that it goes on forever and ever and ever. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, not really. But it is important that you um, you have the information you need to reference for your business uh, in the appropriate place. But I digress. So um, really what I want to show you here is. Um, let's see. Uh, bear with me just a minute. I'm going to get this up for you guys. All right. So the first thing I want to show you is our, our agent income spreadsheet. And then so I'm going to pull this over here and then pull this out for you guys. So this is a list of our agents, right? And so this is everybody that was at the meeting yesterday. So you can see um, right here, uh, our agent names. It's, it's very simple. It's, it's nothing that's going to knock your socks off. But you can see, and these are our agents that were in attendance, and these are uh, agents that we haven't gotten uh, the data from right now. So what we're going to do, I've got Jeremy Johnson, who's worked with me for uh, roughly two years. Uh, great guy, uh, young kid. I met him at the gym. Guy just does everything I ask him to do. He's a great real estate agent. And uh, I, I talked to him before this and he said that I could use his 2019 income goals. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys this. I'm gonna bring, this is our agent income spreadsheet, okay? And so what I want you to see here is, and this is very important, okay guys? 
So uh, I've got the net income before taxes, right? And then we do a cost of sales. And so cost of sales, um, this is for my agents. So you would have, uh, there's a cost of sales for, for a typical agent, there would be a cost of sales and uh, uh, um, expenses. So you would have two different data points that you would use to determine your net income. And we have a spreadsheet for that as well. But since I'm doing Jeremy's and he's on our team, I'm gonna go through this and kind of show you how we built his out. Bear with me just a minute, because I'm burning up here. My heat's pumping right on me, hang on. All right, so I needed to turn that off because I would probably sweat to death. But um, anyway, so you can see this economic model worksheet right here on the, on the left-hand side. So what I'm gonna do is I know that Jeremy told me right on that spreadsheet, his net income was $100,000. And I know that Jeremy has a, a $4,000 cap with our team, okay? Because we're at eXp and, and we are a mega agent icon team. So he's a $4,000 cap. So you can see at the bottom here, um, his growth, this is, guys, this is not rocket science. It's just a nice spreadsheet and it allows him to kind of work backwards to determine what his goals are, or it allows us to do that together. So you can see the gross closed income is $104,000, right? It's very, very simple. Now, where it gets a little more tricky is that if you look um, up top here on line 18, you can see that this is seller business, right? And this is buyer business. And the interesting thing about this is that the longer you're in the business, the more this will change, um, especially when you're a newer agent, because when you're a newer agent, most of your business, um, especially if you're on a team, is probably going to be predominantly from the buyer side uh, because, you know, that's what we do. A lot of the leads that we give out are buyer side leads or buyer side appointments from our ISA staff. So what I want you to see here um, is that for last year, so this, this was based on his numbers last year, and I think his income goal was $75,000. And he knew that 40, or he wanted 40% of his business to be represented by sellers and 60% uh, to be represented by buyers. And since we've, we've got another year in the business, we're gonna go ahead and make a modification to that. So we're actually gonna change this to 50, and we're gonna change this to 50, and you'll see these numbers change, right? And so we're gonna change a couple things here. Now, on our team, we work with our agents and the value that we provide a 50-50 split. So they get 50% and the team gets 50%. And so that's why you see an adjusted commission of one and a half percent, right? Because we normally charge a 3% commission and if you're taking half of that, then you're at one and a half percent minus your uh, cost of sales of $4,000. So you can see that based on an average sale price of 165,000, and we're actually going to change that to 175 this year. Um, and you can see these numbers change themselves. Here's what's really freaking cool, okay? That's all I've done to this point. And what I want you to see here is based on $100,000 net income to himself, 50% represented by buyers, 50% represented by sellers, you can see, that if you go all the way down to the bottom of this spreadsheet, um, I told you the metrics that we're looking at were uh, seller listing appointments, buyer listing appointments, right? Um, seller listings taken, buyer listings taken, buyers sold, and sellers sold. And you can see this is categorized on both sides all the way down, all the way down to on the buyer side, telling Jeremy that he needs to be on point, point one buyer listing appointments per day, right? I don't know what that looks like. Maybe that's where you see a buyer and you go, maybe a, you hand a buyer a pen to write a contract and then you cancel the appointment and that's point one. I don't know what that looks like, but who cares? So, um, and per week, you're point eight. So what I always tell people is just round up, right? I mean, it's common sense. So point eight is one buyer listing appointment per week. Buyer listing appointment, guys, is really what I'd like it to be is for you to be having a buyer discovery meeting so that is you inviting a buyer into the office, sitting down with the buyer, 
and, and essentially going over how you work, getting them to sign a buyer agreement, and, and then maybe pulling up some properties and, and scheduling some showings. Um, I have allowed it in the past that uh, a buyer listing appointment, uh, a showing can count as a buyer listing appointment as well. Uh, because theoretically, you could get a buyer listing, uh, or excuse me, a buyer, uh, um, uh, uh, that's my mind. Anyway, a buyer agreement um, signed at the appointment, right? And you could get it signed at the, at the show, a showing appointment. So, um, and so that would count. So one buyer listing appointment per week, and you can see that here, and then 3.2 buyer listing appointments per month, right? And then 38.1 buyer listing appointments per year. So how freaking cool is that? What if you knew all that in your business, right? How much easier would it be for you? And and so and then and then it goes back into a conversion rate based on 65%. So we know that the national average is 65% uh, buyer lead buyer listing appointment conversion, right? So this is listings taken. So in other words, these are people that decide they they are actually going to do business with you, right? And so again, Per day, 0 0.08, uh, a half a listing appointment a week, uh, and then 2.06 buyer listing appointments per month, and then 24.76 or 25 buyer listings taken per year. So 20, essentially, you if you're working on buyer listings taken, you write the number 25 down and you scratch one out every time you get one. So if you look at that over the course of a year, 25 buyer listings taken over the course of a year is not a lot guys. I mean, that's fairly easy to do. And, and then, so they know that based on, if you take 25 buyer listings taken, that there's an 85% or excuse me, an 80% conversion rate on buyers. And so um, you can see if you work upwards, that's 0 0.707 buyers sold uh, per day, um, 0.39 buyers sold per week, and 1.65 buyers sold per month which is converting to 19.81 buyers sold per year. So this is essentially the entire buyer side of the business for Mr. Jeremy Johnson, right? And so what I want you to see here though, is that what is he focusing on here? What is, what is he supposed to focus on, right? Not appointments, right? And we know to get on appointments that you gotta be on phones, right? And so what, when you can, you can even get more granular with this. Like if you know your, um, if you know your phone call to contacts ratio, your contacts to appointment ratios, and your con your your contacts uh, your appointments to contracts, I mean, you can really get granular here. Um, we can't fine tune that for every agent because we have twenty agents and they all have different conversion ratios. But we encourage them to do that, right? So, and what I mean by that, guys, is listen. If it if you know it takes you two hundred phone calls to set four appointments, and for every four appointments you set, you get one contract that's when the data becomes even more powerful for you, right? Because you know that if you're 15 days into a month and you still need to get two contracts on the board, you got to make 400 phone calls, right? 400 phone calls produces two written contracts for you. So, okay, so this is the buyer side of the business and you can see an average sale price of $175,000. Uh, we're in Southwest Ohio. Um, so screw you to anybody that is in um, Boston, New York, uh, Miami, Southern California, and anybody else I'm forgetting. And um, you can see the buyer sold volume needs to be about 3.4, 3.5 million bucks. Okay. Um, and then we move over to the seller column, right? And then you can see that, uh, that this, this changes a little bit because what we know is that conversion ratios vary a little bit. Um, the conversion rate, conversion ratios on a seller appointment um, are about 80% listings taken and then about 65% conversion. This may be a little bit higher now. I have a sneaking suspicion it is because uh, most listings are selling. Uh, but again, we're going to base it on um, we're going to base it on the national average over time. OK, uh, because we don't know what the market's going to do this year. So. Um, just going into the seller side of the business, you can see here that your 0.1 seller listing appointments per day, 0.8 seller listing appointments uh, per week, and 3.2 seller listing appointments per month, right? And so this equals out to 38.1 seller listing appointments per year. Again, they, these are both the same because you can see it's 50% seller, 50% buyer. 
Here's where it changes a little bit. Um, like I was telling you before. So 80%. So on, on the buyer side, it's a 65% conversion rate um, from appointment to listing taken or buyer agreement signed. Right. And then on the seller side, for every listing you go on, there's it's an 80% conversion opportunity. Uh, that's the national average again. So that's why these numbers will change a little bit above here. So you can see that based on an 80% conversion rate, 0 0.10 seller listings per day, 0 0.60 seller listings per week, and 2.54 seller listings per month, right? Equals 30.48 seller listings per year. So what I'm seeing here roughly is to make a hundred grand working for us, our team at, at, uh, at EXP, you need to be on roughly, or you need to, you need to be on roughly, let's see, 76 appointments, 55 listings or buyer agreements, and then 40, sales will get you to 100 grand on our team okay so 19.81 so this is and we know again this conversion ratio uh a little lower right which again i i said maybe higher now because more listings are selling and it is more of a seller's market but again just using the national average so um and then what i want you to see here obviously equal right 50 percent, 50 percent. but the cool thing about this is if you're a listing agent and I mean, that's really all you do. I mean, you can change this to say, I don't know, 85%, say 85 and 15, right? And then it changes everything, right? You can see that obviously there's a there's a higher weight on the seller side of the business, right? And, and, and like I told you, if you were here during the beginning of the webinar, I told you that um, what you'll see over time is, especially if you're a team leader, is you'll leverage out the buyer side of the business to your agents so that you can free up more time to be on listings, right? And, and so that number might change for you. Um, and again, we're looking at uh, a, one, of our, our, one of our buyer agents, or excuse me, one of our agents' um, uh, income goals, which does not include um, your expenses, so your operating expenses. So you're not seeing that category here because theoretically, Jeremy doesn't have any operating expenses because we pay all of his, right? He may pay his board dues and other miscellaneous fees, but for the most part, um, on a team, if you're on a team, we're covering all your expenses. We cover signs, business cards, um, uh, leads, uh, admin staff, um, ISA staff, right? We're paying for all that. So, but what I, what I want you to get here, really the whole reason that I wanted you all to join me today is so that you understood that if you really wanna be successful in real estate, you have to have a business plan. Because if you don't know where you're going, you'll never know where to start, right? And this is the first step in building out a business plan for 2019, is knowing what income goal that you have in mind, right? Um, because once you have that income goal in mind and then you have a spreadsheet like this, um, it just makes it easier. You know what you have to do every single day, every single week and every single month to hit your goal. And you know if you're not on track and you know if you are on track, right? You may go in at 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 you know at four months in, and you may be way ahead of your goal and have to make a, an adjustment to this spreadsheet, and that's okay, right? That's a good that's a good thing to have to do, or you may be behind, and then you know what you have to do to make it up. But if you never build a plan, you're never going to hit your goal. So that's really what I wanted to show you today. I didn't come to take a lot of your time just to deliver some value and kind of show you what we're doing. Um, just on our team from an inside perspective. And listen, if you're interested in building out a business plan or uh, jumping on a call one-on-one -on -one with me um, to, to answer any of your questions in your business, um, I'd be happy to do that. Go to www.liverealestatecoaching.com and um, that'll my calendar will pop up and just put your information in there, fill out the questionnaire, and uh, we'll jump on and do this live together. So thanks so much for joining me. Talk to you soon.